Happy Friday, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with another full case break of 2017 Topps Finest Baseball. This is pick your team number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The next pick your team is already in single digits. So check it out, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll get the next one going too. For pick your team number six on the eighth, there's everyone right there. There's Casey with that last spot mojo. He grabbed the last two teams. So good luck to Casey. Good luck to everybody in this one. Just a couple, just a quick note. We were actually, we haven't seen one yet, and I think they're not, they're not supposed to be easy to find. But the finest originals uh, buybacks, that's kind of what we know about them. Uh, I looked at a, a different checklist, groupbreakchecklist.com. Omar Vizquel goes to the Indians on that one. Um, I think all the other ones are live. I have not seen a Paul O'Neill or an Andy Pettit yet. If they're redemptions, then what we'll do is we'll probably use our college rules. We'll, go, we'll have them go to the team they played for the longest. Uh, Paul Conerico is a Dodger, just FYI. And Mark McGuire is a Cardinal. Everything else seems to be pretty much what you would expect. All right, so here's the case. Good luck, everybody. Uh, well, no, that must have been a mistake then. Because I, I know that they've been there. I don't think we've changed prices in any, in any of these cases. So I think the Reds have always been twenty nine ninety nine. If I said something, I'll, I'm probably misspoke. And that's not too surprising. <laughs> yeah, don't pay attention to me. Look on the website, folks. That, that's always that's always the correct way to go. I must have been thinking about another team. You know, there could have been a team right above or below the Reds that I thought was that price. But no, they've always been twenty nine ninety nine since case number one. All right, box number one, folks. Good luck, everybody. There are a couple case hits in here. There's uh, a couple David Ortiz die cuts um, of him on the Twins and the Red Sox. I think the finest, uh, what is it, the finest moments, or what is that called? That's a case hit, too. I think the finest firsts are also case hits. I think there's only one or, one or two of those. Finest finishes only come one per case. So there's a couple, uh, there's a few case hits to chase. And buyback autographs that we just talked about at the beginning of the break, we have not seen a buyback autograph yet. Now, like I said, the next case of finest baseball is already in single digits, so... And the case after that is already halfway full. So I've got a good feeling that we'll be able to, to knock out a couple more of these cases tonight. So go to Jazzy. If you missed out the first time, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. Or if you didn't get a hit, you know, try the, try the team again. I would hate to have a situation where you're like, ah, should I? Could I? And then don't. And then the next case, the very next case has like the big hit. Don't want that to happen. There's King Kenta, 2 out of 99 for the Dodgers. That'll go to Dano with the Dodgers. And, wow, finest finishes, Luis Gonzalez. This is exactly what Arthur was looking for. Arthur, are you even watching live? This always happens. He's never watching live. Then I pull him the nice hits. Maybe you, should, you just shouldn't watch anymore, Arthur. <laughs> or at least when your breaks start to happen. This is exactly what he's chasing, ladies and gentlemen. Finest finishes, Luis Gonzalez, Arizona Diamondbacks, Arthur. Congrats, man. See, that's a perfect example. Arthur had purchased the, the Diamondbacks. Uh, there's a high number short print, by the way. Arthur bought like the Diamondbacks in like the last four or five cases. With nada. Now he gets something. See? Made it all worthwhile, I think.
98 out of 250, Orlando Arcia for the Brew Crew. Nice one for the Brewers. That'll head out to Casey Lawson. And the other autograph is Wilson Contreras for the Cubs. Nice Cubs autograph for Tom Hetherington. The high number short prints are cards 101 and up. All right, what do I do with the vet base? That's, that's how I get paid, Michael Edwards. They pay me a vet base, and then I go and sell them for a penny a piece at the local card shows. No, we donate them to the Boys and Girls Club of America. Oh, now Arthur joins us. Yeah, that's like the first one out of the box. Finally, right? There it is. Nice autograph, too. He's, he's got a nice auto. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, oh, you just got here. Well, just in time. There you go. No need to stress for the rest of the break, Arthur. You're good. Yeah, it is a good cause, Michael Edwards. We figure, I mean, the main reason why we do it is obviously because we want to get the hits shipped out to you quickly. And so not having to sort some extra cards definitely, you know, helps the process, especially when we have so many other breaks that we do, plus the hockey channel, et cetera, et cetera. And so then we were, and then, so we've done this for years. So traditionally we've always like donated them. You know, so uh, more recently we've been donating the, to a girls, girls and Boys Club of America. There was another program a number, a couple of years ago called uh, Cards for Kids too. I think I think they they had handled these cards and would donate them to various organizations and stuff like that. But yeah, there's a number of places that enjoy getting these kind of cards. You're welcome, Arthur. I was just saying on the video that uh, that you that this is a good example of why you should continue to chase your teams and chase the hits. Because I was saying that you had purchased the Diamondbacks like the last four or five times, and now you finally got it. Finally got rewarded. So I appreciate that, Arthur. It's a good lesson for everybody. Corey Seager, 001 out of 250 for my Dodgers. Dano with the Dodgers. And Lucas Giolito. I still Nationals edition of Lucas Giolito for Tom Hetherington, who's been pitching uh, pretty well lately in the minors, Tom. He could probably get called up to the White Sox pretty soon. Uh, no high number short prints. I'll move on to the next one. There's Max Scherzer for the Nationals and Tom, 125 out of 150. And Hunter Renfro, 71 out of 99, green, going to the Friars. Diane with the Padres. There you go, Diane. Nice. All right, let's leave these up. Get on to the next box. Another couple nice autographs out of there. Hunter Entro, of course, has been playing pretty much every day for the Padres. He's been having a pretty nice season. Top load these and move on to the next box. Check 
for some. Did I already look at these high number short print? There's a high number short. I didn't check. There's a high number short print. And that's the Corey Kluber. I don't know how short printed they are, but that's what the checklist says. Cards 101 and up. Next box. Good luck. How are you liking the finest, everybody? I mean, whether you whether you've hit or not, just in terms of just your opinion of it as like a, as a set, I think it looks pretty good. And it's possibly because you know we kind of we didn't do any finest last year, so I've definitely missed this uh, this look. Definitely missed finest. I think uh, I think it looks pretty great. There's Dansby Swanson, 28 out of 50, gold for the Braves, Tom. And blue, Luis Severino, blue wave, 11 out of 25. He's been pitching well for the Bronx Bombers. There you go, Carter. Carter with that one. And the next mini box. Yeah, Paul T says, nice design. I, I dig it too. Nice, clean design. And there's Kenley Jansen, Dodger closer, 73 out of 99 for Dano and the Dodgers. And another Hunter Renfro, finest firsts. That goes to Diane and the Padres. And there's Manny Margot. And no high number short prints here. Okay. Is that right, Michael Edwards? Michael Edwards saying that Kluber will cover about a quarter of the Indian spot. I forget how much we charge for the Indians, but what what are the what are the short prints in general selling for? It's pretty nice that the short prints are doing well on a secondary market. Last Kluber went for like 10 bucks. That's not bad for a short print. I'll take that any day of the week. With a minute left in the first quarter, Cleveland up 46. 29 on the Golden State Warriors. They are they are playing with with a vengeance. And hopefully they don't they can keep up the energy for all four quarters. They looked like they were on their way to a win last game. And they played three strong quarters, but that lead slipped away in the fourth quarter. They seemed a little gassed by then, but you know, as a neutral fan, I guess I'm leaning a little, a little more Cleveland. I was born in Ohio, so I guess my, my allegiance has leaned slightly that way, but but still, I'm mostly a neutral. I'd like to see it go some more games. Oh, 
All right. Next mini box. Sub Rex, what's going on? It's Purple Hunter Renfro for Diane, 210 out of 250. And our autograph, no, not yet. 35 out of 99, Adrian Beltre for the Rangers. That'll be for Ed. The autograph is Joe Musgrove. Astros. Diane with the Astros. Nice, Diane. Let's see. High number short prints. No. Schorber. Oh, Rex saying everyone's too scared to get into Diamond Kings. All rise. 113 out of 150. Aaron Judge. Yankees. Carter. And Aaron Judge. 34 out of 150. Blue Aaron Judge. All rise. All rise. The Honorable Aaron Judge presiding for Carter. There's Twins version of David Ortiz. There's about two per case of those. Jose Abreu for the White Sox. That is for Ed with the high number short print. Which uh, Michael Edwards is saying that most of the short prints are uh, reselling pretty well on a secondary market. All right, so let's sleeve all these up. It's a nice box. Top load these and then we'll get into the next box. We're pretty much halfway there. Nice Aaron Judge, Carter. Have the Cavs scored 50 points in the first quarter? Pace yourselves, Cavs. This box, nice Aaron Judge. Next one. The Cavs scored 49 points in the first quarter. To the Golden State's 33, it looks like. Cavs playing with a vengeance. They don't want to get swept. Certainly not on their home court. Darren Ravel wrote an article the other day saying that if the Golden State Warriors sweep, they stand to lose like close to $20 million. Rob asking any breaks today, besides the one I'm doing now. Now this is our first group break of the day. We did do a couple boxes of Star Wars for Curtis earlier, but this is our first group break of the day. All right, Max Scherzer. 203 out of 250 for Tom and the Nets. And an orange Andrew Benintendi. Nice. 5 out of 25. Going to Tom and the Red Sox. And a blue Justin Turner. 26 out of 150. Like when the parallel color matches the uniform. There it is, Dano, with my Dodgers. And Steven Strasburg back here. Uh, no, unfortunately, we do not have any studio basketball. All right, no high number short prints here. 
All right, next box. Or next mini box, that is. And we got a blue Starling Marte, 12 out of 150 for the Pirates, Greg. And the autograph is Tyler Naquin for the Tribe. That goes to Adam Roeder. Nice, right, so another nice box. Nice, Rex saying his stepdaughter graduated. Tomorrow is the graduation party. You got two tickets to see Blink-182. Nice. Does she even like Blink-182? Are those like nostalgia acts for her now? For, for people of her age? You know, I've never seen Blink-182 in concert. Maybe I have. Maybe at a Coachella, perhaps? No, maybe at some sort of K-Rock acoustic Christmas, almost acoustic Christmas. I must have seen them at a at a festival somewhere. I just don't remember. All right, next box. Who's opening for Blink-182? Oh, a band you never heard of. Oh, you're going to get a lot. Lollapalooza would have been cool, but yeah, I mean, you'd have to travel and all that, too. It might be a little little much. I'm going to go to... I need, I, need a, I need to do Lollapalooza one day. I, I should have done it this year if I had planned it better. It's because the, cause the National is in Chicago. I could have wrapped like a big trip around that, but... All right, third to final box. Remember, our next uh, full case break of finest baseball is already in single digits, so I'm sure we'll be able to knock that out tonight, and probably more. We've got the the one after that is already halfway there. There's Justin Upton for the Tigers, 59 out of 250 for for Deanne. There you go, Deanne, and this one for you too. 44 out of 50, Justin Verlander. And Max Kepler for the Twinkies. Karen with the Twins. Nice Max Kepler. High number short prints. No. No, not this time. Todd Frazier, Zach Granke for Arthur and the Diamondbacks, 26 out of 150. Seems to be back on track this season. And Alex Bregman, finest first, 13 out of 150 for Diane and the Astros. Nice hit. Astros just destroying this year. There's David Ortiz, die cut for the Red Sox. Oh, let me look at the backs of these. No, no high number short print here. That's actually not that bad. Rex saying Lollapalooza, four day pass is 400 bucks. That's not so bad. I think I think Coachella is that amount and it's only three days.
All right. Nice Alex Bregman in there. Two boxes to go. Down to our final two. Rip all of these open. So this is pick your team number six. The next pick your team is already in single digits. And I see a couple of orders coming in too, so maybe it's for that break. So we have a, we should be able to, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we'll be able to do the next pick your team soon after this one. So finance has been treating us uh, pretty well. So I can't wait to do the next case. We also had a little bit of movement on um, a little bit of movement on that uh, prestige football random division break. Would love to do that. Diamond Kings baseball, you got a shot at fifty dollars of break credit. Plus, get into the all spot solo promo for another fifty dollars of break credit. We got a spot random going on today. And that spot random, that's a good way for you to get a Steiner Sports plus Jaspi spot. Get one of those spots. Those $90 spots, only $33. Spots in Steiner Sports and the spot random will be well, will count as triple entries into tonight's all spot sold promo. So that should be fun. We should be able to do that today. Those boxes that you see on the table right there, those are the Steiner Sports memorabilia boxes for that particular break. So if you're curious about what those are, I am too. I want to open that up. Go check that out. JaspiesHobbyLand.com. Basketball fans, watching game four of the NBA final right now. We've got Optic Basketball available. A lot of cheap teams still left. A lot of nice teams still left. So get into that third of a case break for Optic Basketball. And we also have our final four boxes of 1617 Limited Basketball. So be sure to check that out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right, our last four mini boxes. Good luck, everybody. Pick your team number six. Joey Votto to 250 for the Red Legs. That'll be for Casey. Paul Goldschmidt to 150 for Arthur. 73 out of 150. Nice, Arthur getting the parallels as well as that Luis Gonzalez. The one per case, Rob Segedin. That goes to the Dodgers, Dano. There's Jorge Alfaro there. Yeah, we did. You heard right, Rob. We did pull a Derek Jeter autograph. Five out of five. Pulled it last night. It's on our Twitter right now, at Jaspie's Hobbyland. There's David Dahl, short print, card one, two, three. And that goes to the Rockies. That'll be for Jackie. Next mini box from this master box. We got Kenley Jansen for Dano out of 250. And your autograph is Blake Snell. That'll go to Alex Lindsay and the Rays. Nice, Alex. Max Scherzer at the end there. And no high numbers there. Yeah, it was pretty sick, Michael House. I was actually pretty stunned. I didn't was shocked that that had actually happened. All right, the next two, the last two mini boxes. 
Good luck, everybody. We've got a blue Rugnet Odor. Out of 150 for the Rangers. That'll be for Ed. And we got a red Alex Bregman. One out of five. Wow. One out of five Alex Bregman for Diane Bellot with the Houston Astros. Diane, as you know, at Jaspie's Hobbyland, we're all riding on the Big Hit Express. And out of cards, out of five and under, we'll get a train whistle. We get to pull the train whistle. So, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woohoo! Nice one. And the last mini box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Justin Verlander, 78 out of 250 for the Tigers. And Deanne, ladies are hitting. And an orange, Rocky. 19 out of 25 breakthroughs in Sir Nolan Arenado. So nice finish here. That goes to Jackie and the Rockies. And Trey Turner. Good finish. Tom with the Nationals. And that will be that. Any high number short prints? No, does not look like it. But a nice finish nonetheless. The one out of five Alex Bregman, the Trey Turner, the speedster for the Nationals, and another great finest case in the books. Seems like our finest baseball cases are starting to really heat up. We started strong, but now they're really heating up. So there you go. One out of five Bregman. You got the Trey Turner. Other nice parallels. We'll sleeve all these up, top load them. This was Pick Your Team number six from jazpiecehobbyland.com. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. This is Joe. Bye-bye.